my ongoing job of finding you the next bull markets, I'm always searching for companies that are trying to take control of their own destiny and with it their own stock price. Which brings me to Zebra Technologies, last stock in the book, ZBRA, a global manufacturer of specialty printers like thermal and receipt printers, along with software supplies and radio frequencies identification solutions. Back on April 15th, we learned that Zebra is buying Motorola Solutions Enterprise business for $3.45 billion. And the stock got slammed falling from $68 down to $61. As investors were initially skeptical, candidly, we liked the deal immediately. Since then, Zebra has rebounded like crazy as the stock has climbed back up to $73.98, making a new all-time high today, in part because the company reported a solid quarter just this morning. And even though you may have missed your chance to buy Zebra into that weakness, the market sure has a habit of giving you many opportunities for bargain prices here. Don't take it from me. Let's check in with Anders Gustafsson. He's the CEO of Zebra Technologies to learn more about the quarter and the company's deal. Mr. Gustafsson, welcome to May of Money. Thank you so much. Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Anders, so initially... The market doesn't understand the deal. And they say, well, wait a second. Your uh, former company, Zebra, is growing at 18%. You're buying a company that had uh, sales that were down 1%. Why does 18% and minus 1 make so much sense? 18% my- 18% gain. You know, Zebra's growing much faster than Motorola. Oh. But you buy a company much slower. Yeah. But in the end, people come to their senses and realize that 2 plus 2 could be 5. Sure. But, you know, we've been working side by side for 20 years. You know, we've had the same account teams in front of the same customers, really offering two halves of a complete solution. So now I think we have a chance of really creating something what's quite unique with what we're putting together. And the synergies and, the, you know, the, what, what new types of solution that we can create, I think, is very, very appealing. Okay, well, before Symbol merged with Motorola, I spent a day out at the yep. company with Mr. Nudie. Uh, from NCR now. Yep. And he told me you guys were going head to head, Zebra versus Symbol. So there must be some great overlap that you can immediately take some costs out and get more customers together. Actually, we, we, we're very complementary. Mm-hmm. So we, what we print, what you know, Motorola Enterprises read. So we print a barcode, we encode an RFID tag, and they read it. So we actually don't have any overlap okay. in product solutions. So it's very, very, very much complementary. All right. Now, let, let's talk about what the solutions are, because you're on with a ton, you know, almost every Fortune 500 company uses you. Yep. But uh, my, my assistant, Linda Dimian, came up with a fantastic story about you tagging the San Francisco 49ers to see how they're doing. What is that? Yeah, so last year we, we, uh, we had a pilot program going for, to tag the 49ers and the Lions teams. So both the home tag, team, put in, so sure, they put sure. two uh, RFID tags under each shoulder pad. Uh, to be able to track exactly their movements on the field to see how fast they're running, how many yards they're running in the first uh, quarter versus the last quarter, and uh, you know, any kind of statistics around it. Well, the reason I thought this was so exciting yeah. is we all know now that a lot of devices that we use, that we put on our arms, yeah. aren't doing the job. Could you make an, a deal with an Under Armour and offer superior tracking technology? Yeah, so what we can do is we can definitely track uh, at, at great accuracy uh, what anybody does on the field. And we can also put leads in for you know, heart rate monitoring or temperature monitoring and other things like that to give you the biometric uh, information as well. Now, obviously, the real uh, uses that you've talked about over and over again, retail and healthcare. Yeah. What do you do for healthcare? Because I think retail, we've seen the codes. Yeah, in, in, um, uh, in healthcare, you know, we have a, a number of use cases. So we do anything from uh, you know, uh, wristbands on patients, okay. you know, uh, putting uh, machine-readable instructions on uh, uh, pill boxes and on the caregiver. So no mistakes. Yeah, so basically you can say at the bedside uh, of a patient, a caregiver can scan the barcode of the patient on the wristband, scan the barcode of a, of a pill box, and his or her own credentials to make sure that the right patients get the right medication, the right dose at the right time by an authorized caregiver. So you've cut back on, the, on malpractice then? Absolutely. So we've, we have a lot of uh, case studies looking at how much money we save hospitals or, or, or the, the health care administrations. And uh, it, it, it's a meaningful. It's a medium sized healthcare, healthcare provider saved uh, $14 million by using our technology 40? last year. 14. 14 million. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, for retail, I want to talk omni channel. Um, yep. It looks like that uh, we know from Macy's, we know yep. that companies are trying to integrate, not just so they can beat Amazon. Yep. Where, are you, where do you fit in the omni channel? We do a lot of things for the Omni Channel. We have, uh, the, we give them the ability to have, first and foremost, I would say, greater uh, visibility of the in-store inventory through a number of different ways. So one can be that they put uh, RFID tags on their inventory so mm-hmm. they can have much more real-time visibility to it. 
we have another cloud-based service which uh, uh, every quarter or, or on a regular basis goes out and does the physical inventory okay. count. So the, the retailers have much better visibility to what, so, what actual inventory they have. Okay, I'm averse to debt myself, but you guys took down $3.25 billion for this acquisition. It would seem to me with the stocks flying as high as it is in a market that's kind of beaten down, this might be a chance for, our, for people who watch the show to get in on a secondary where you could pay down some of that debt. Would you offer stock up here? It, we haven't decided yet of the long-term capital structure, but first, you know, we are very comfortable with the debt structure we put on. You know, we are two leaders in our industry. Right. We have very strong cash flow generating capabilities, so we expect that within three years we'll be able to pay down the debt very substantially. Pay down the th oh, pay down a lot of the three billion from th from five times to three times. Wow, that would be terrific. And if you look at just the, uh, the interest rates today, the credit mar markets are very right. easy. So if you compare that to somebody who had uh, half our debt load four years back, they probably still paid more interest costs. That's a very good point. Yeah. The money is still very cheap. Yeah. Okay, that's Anders Gustafsson, CEO of Zebra Technologies. Now, you know that we've been recommending Zebra. It is up huge on a spike. I just still think I believe in the company. I'm not asking you to chase it, though. Stay with Kramer Lightning Round coming up.